I'm Steph Strickland with GeekWire Studios here to talk about women in data. I would like to introduce you now to Lisa Ginther Ha. She is with Salesforce, the Senior Product Marketing Manager. And one of the things that you are passionate about is engaging women in STEM and in this career path. I think women make up 28% of the workforce. What do you see changing to help uh, bring those numbers into parity? Yeah, thank you, Steph. Uh, so, you know, when you look at women in data, it is actually 26%. So, and it is 28% for mathematics and computing. Tableau community has empowered and equipped more than 3 million students and educators. So a lot of young women are coming into this space now, more, you know, younger than 35 years old. A special plug for Tableau, Tableau community in particular, because people said, I found people who looked like me. I found people with a similar life experience to me. And they're able to then turn around and mentor the next generation of people coming in. That's gotta be rewarding for you as a journalist, now working on the marketing side of things to show people the breadth of careers that are available specifically in data viz. You know, that is 100%. In fact, someone I was at a uh, community leaders uh, event last evening, and that's literally what people came up to me and were saying, you know, this is so inclusive. I feel part of this group. This is a very great community. You talked to a powerhouse, um, and I wanted to ask you about that interview. This person is Beth Puchek, who is with the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services Bureau. And I just want to know what she discussed with you that really stood out in this conversation surrounding data and, and how to manage it and learn from it. You know, I think what resonated with me from what Beth shared is really about um, know your strengths and know your weaknesses. Lean into those strengths, um, consider business and technology. What are the values that are important to you to really help solve problems, tackle big challenges, work together, build those relationships and focus on ROI? I am watching the acceleration of Gen AI change absolutely everything it touches, yeah. and data visualization is no different. What does your five-year crystal ball look like? What are you most excited about professionally as you watch this really come online and start um, engaging with people in a much broader way than even a year ago? Yeah, I think one of the things that's helpful for me is that it helps me to actually, you know, test out new ideas a little bit faster and a little bit easier than I used to do, but it doesn't entirely take my job away either. So I think it's sort of complementary in figuring out where can I find certain generative AI tools that will help me do my job better, but also allow me to connect with people differently than I used to. Is finding the Tableau community and some of the other engagements that you're involved with really the pathway to making sure that your values, your core values are aligned with what you're doing in the, the data visualization world? Absolutely. One of the things that I really try and focus on is how do I want to be treated by others and how would I like to you know, come to a conference or say, for example, I'm in a new situation, how would I like to be treated? So usually what I like to do is you know, introducing a broader group of people. If I see somebody that looks you know, new or they don't know like, hey, I'm a first timer at conference. I try and in, in bring them into that larger circle because, you know, you are wanted, you are needed. And I think that, you know, bringing in more voices into that circle is really, you know, where we're able to evolve and, you know, making bigger changes. I wanted to ask you finally, what are some of the ways that you are seeing women in data make an impact? I think we're making an impact in our organizations, but also, you know, across the board in our homes. Um, I think nowadays there's been some interesting changes the last few years where I think women are feeling more empowered to take on different risks in their organizations than maybe they, what they used to. However, you know, there's still, there are still challenges. I think one of the the big things that I see and I'm really trying to encourage other women to, you know, get advocates is we're starting to lose a lot of women that are going into that mid-career, um, you know, spell there. So once you like reach manager level, why are we losing so many women, you know, beyond that case? Is it because of work-life balance? Is it because of, you know, structures in their organization that are not contributing to their success? So being able to work across the board with other women that, and also men too, um, to help figure out what are you know, critical career paths that we can put forward for women and then figuring out how can we support everyone across the board so it's an equitable process. Christina Gorga with Booz Allen Hamilton, thank you so much for making the time for me today. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm Steph Strickland with GeekWire Studios.